In this movie tutorial, we'll cover the basics of recording audio and MIDI with Innuendo. Once you've finished viewing this tutorial and you want to learn more about recording, you can jump right over to the recording topic, which provides a collection of detailed, in-depth tutorials covering everything there is to know about recording with Innuendo. Recording Innuendo is fairly simple. Assuming you've already set up the inputs and outputs of your audio and MIDI interface, then you should be all ready to go. If not, make sure to check out the setup and configuration tutorial before moving on. There are four basic steps to recording. First, create an audio or MIDI track and select the input channels that you want to record from. Second, check your line or microphone levels using the input channel in the VST mixer. If you want to apply effects to the live signal, you can do so from the inserts for this channel. If you're recording a MIDI track that is playing a virtual instrument plugin, then there is no need to check levels since the plugin is already directly within the VST mixer. Third, once your levels are set, you record arm the track and activate monitoring if necessary. This will enable you to monitor the signal directly through Nuendo in case you don't have an external mixer or some other method to hear the instrument you're recording. Record arming a MIDI track enables you to trigger and play whatever MIDI instrument or virtual instrument you have set up on the output port. And fourth, simply find the location where you want to begin recording and hit the record button. If you want to record multiple tracks, simply record arm the tracks you need and Nuendo will record on all the arm tracks. That's pretty much all there is to it. After that, you have a wide variety of additional features to help enhance the overall recording environment. Most of these are covered in detail within the recording tutorial, but we'll discuss a few of the key important ones now to help you get started on your way. The transport offers a variety of controls to help enhance the recording experience. You have options for your click track or metronome, your project tempo settings, as well as a powerful punch in and punch out options, which allow you to specify a location in which Nuendo will automatically begin recording and stop recording for you. This is a great tool for overdubs and when you're both the engineer and the musician in the studio and you simply don't have enough hands. You also have several options to set how Nuendo records over existing material and whether it merges or replaces the existing recordings. You also have powerful options for cycle or loop recording. One such feature is the ability to stack multiple takes as you cycle or loop over the same section of a song or project. For example, by setting my cycle markers to a specified area, I'll activate cycle mode. Then I'll activate the stacked cycle mode and enable the fixed lanes mode for the track I'm going to record on. Now when I hit record, Nuendo will create a separate audio file for each time it completes a full pass of the loop. When I hit stop, you instantly get each take as a separate lane. This makes it incredibly easy to take the best parts of each pass and end up with a single track that has all the best parts in it. No other digital audio application offers you this type of editing power. These are just but a few of the great features Nuendo offers you for your recording needs. Make sure to spend time in the recording topic to get a full understanding of all these features and more.